We're rolling. Oh, wait, there you are. Hello. Hello. Wait, I can't get it right. See, this is John Westcott. Hi. John Westcott is my real estate broker and also is an advertiser here on my own space. That's right. If you want to see his ad, look up, right? Look up. Let's and look at it. Like the Brady Bunch. Do but something? don't just look at it. Okay. <laughs> Click on it. Oh. Click on it and then call me. Exactly. Right. And let me help you with your real estate needs. Oh, I think that's best. We're, yeah. we're, we're filming in Brooklyn. On my front stoop, actually. It's true. Right yeah. here in a brownstone. Yeah. We made sure that we didn't get the address in here because we didn't want him. You know, we didn't want the fans to storm him. I don't want those crazy people at my gym <laughs> stalking me. <laughs> you and I, all we do is pretty much schedule seeing each other around workouts. Yes. It's true. I don't know. I've been eating more protein because you've been inspiring me. I eat a lot of protein these days, <laughs> and I won't go into why. But it's more than what I'm used to. Yeah. And it's an adjustment. How long do you have to do this? Six weeks. Uh, how, how many Can, weeks? Am I allowed to talk about it on here? Yeah, why wouldn't you be? Oh, I don't know, because it's... There's no rules. There's no rules. Okay. No. So I'm doing this program called Snatched in Six Weeks. That's a hilarious name. It's a great name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, at, at Mark Fisher Fitness in okay. Midtown. Okay. And... He does not have an advertisement he did, on this blog. No. no. Oh, Mark should advertise on this blog. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, but here's what I love about it. It's a combination of Bill Nye, the science guy, meets Sodom and Gomorrah. So my point is this gym is not for everybody. It's, right. I should there's take a, the kids. And that's what a, you're saying. Don't take the kids. There's a big musical theater component. Shocking. Shocking. Yeah. Which is fine. You um, know. I, because I'm retired musical theater. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if the right call came along. No. Really? Yeah, no, I, n yeah, no. How'd you do that? I mean, I've been saying I'm retired from musical theater forever. I, I, I'll tell you how I did that. I, you know, I've been selling real estate for six years and... There you are. I know not, it's hard. Not only do I really love it, I'm very passionate about it, especially out here in Brooklyn, um, but I make a very good living at it. Um, and here's here's how it was easy to leave theater. I actually had dinner with a friend last night who said to me, how long have you been selling real estate? And I said, six years. And he said, and I almost spit out my water. He said, you were penniless before you did that. <laughs> Which leads us to why we're looking for an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> we could just transition right into that. Yeah. Being still in the musical theater. Rob wanted me to ask you a question. Let's okay. cut to the chase. Let's cut to All the right. real estate chase. Okay. So, do you think this is going to play in the back of cabs? Have you seen that talk stoop? This is like talk stoop. Oh. Isn't that fun? Anyway, um, here's Rob Meff. Rob Meff had a request that I ask you a question before I left. Okay. Here it is. He said to me, ask John Westcott a question for me. I said, all right, I will. And he said, ask him where, in all seriousness, People like us who have kids who make about the amount of money that we make, which is about $100,000 a year. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't mm -hmm. care. It's a decent amount of money anywhere else in the country. Anywhere else in the country, you'd be in, you know, in a four-bedroom house with a yard right. and a pool. And not having an ulcer. No. Right. Okay, so honestly, our real estate issues. Hi, how fast are you going to drive? Ha, um, our real it's estate issues. <laughs> Sorry, someone's in a hurry. Um, I think it was a white Bronco. I think it was OJ Simpson. Anyway, <laughs> we're talking uh, about everything. <laughs> anyway, so he just wanted to know. What, seriously, where do people live? like? I mean, I we don't get it. We rent. I'll tell you what it is. We rent. We pay twenty five hundred dollars a month to live in Washington Heights in a very beautiful three bedroom, two bath apartment. Yes. It's it's a really nice apartment. The neighborhood not so much, um, but the biggest issue that we have is Rob's commute, which he is all the way downtown, and Charlotte's high school commute now all the way downtown, and we need a school district for Beatrix. That's where we are. So we're trying to decide if we can buy something or if we're going to rent something. But mm -hmm. the question on the table is, where do people like us live? It's a good question. And there's no real short answer to that. But 
what you guys are doing is exactly what you need to do. So searching for real estate is a process, right? Yeah. Unless you are one of the uber wealthy in New York, and there are a lot of them. Oh, I know. And I can't believe the amount of money that some people I have know. in New York where they can just, you know, pay all cash for a $4 million townhouse. Really? It happens. It happens, yeah. There's I a lot, you, get you know. A big there, there's a lot of one percenters in New York, you yeah. know. So, anyway, um, what you guys are doing is exactly the way to do it. They, what they've done is they've, they've cast a, a very wide net. They came into my office and said, <laughs> and I asked them, <laughs> Do you want to buy or do you want to rent? And they said, okay. <laughs> and Which is I probably said, helpful for you when you're yeah, trying to. Yeah. And I said, what neighborhoods are you looking at? And they said, Brooklyn, right. <laughs> Manhattan. Yeah. And maybe Riverdale. And maybe Riverdale. <laughs> so let's yeah. break it down. Brooklyn and Manhattan, boroughs, not neighborhoods. So we've got a very <laughs> wide <laughs> net cast. Yeah. And Brooklyn is a huge borough. But, so, yeah, but we did rule one thing out. Yes. No Harlem. We ruled out Harlem. We saw five. Eight. 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 You saw eight. I saw five. I saw five. eight. You saw six. You saw I six. I saw six. Because we saw three in that one building. And then we, we saw, saw two in the other one. So three, Sharon yeah. saw um, on Sunday yeah. eight apartments in Harlem. Right. And they were lovely apartments, some of them. Were they? Do you remember the first one? When we met you? Yes, I remember I remember the first one. And, and we walked up to the door? <laughs> I don't think I can talk about that. And I said, we walked up, I can't, I walked up and there was a memorial, like flowers and then lit candles and a picture. And I walked up, and this is literally like John and I starting and I walked up and I said, okay, so someone died. <laughs> <laughs> and then we went in to look at apartments. Now, let me tell you the funny thing about that. When I said someone died, I'm thinking to myself, it's a picture of a young woman. Who, <laughs> right? I'm so sorry for laughing. It's I, so inappropriate. It is so inappropriate. But we all know that, right? That's a given. We, yeah, I mean, yeah. Us, it's a like, memorial. It's yeah, a memorial. Of course, right. and it's sad. It wasn't and, about and that. It wasn't, but it's more but it's about not how you want your real estate search to begin. It isn't. But the funny thing is that, of course, for me, like we're gonna make out. <laughs> for me, it was about fear. For Rob, when he heard me say <laughs> someone died, he thought that I was going to say, can we go look can at our apartment? <laughs> Thinking we could get a deal. I can't. <laughs> that is so tacky. Which, let me tell you, oh my God, is not the craziest thing to happen in New York City real estate. Really? Should we be looking at the obits? People look at the obits. <laughs> but that happens in like Woody Allen films. Yeah, I'm not recommending that okay. as, your, as part of your search. I would stick to, you know. <laughs> right, because everybody inherits something anyway. Yeah, the truth. it's true. All right, so, yeah. so here was another question. Are you looking at co-ops or condos? Okay. Are you, so, so my point is you guys... What's great about you guys is that you're open to a lot of different things. It's really going to be what's in your budget. <laughs> and don't laugh at that. I'm sorry. What's in your budget right. and um, what neighborhoods feel right to you for your two beautiful daughters. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all that school. And school. School. And school. But, and that's but the I thing won't... about Harlem. Honestly, the memorial yeah. aside, which we shouldn't have laughed at, and we're going to get letters about that, but... Um, more what happened is that I started doing a lot of research about schools because obviously, and, and in, in a really good way, you can't advise us on anything no. about schools, which no. is fine because it's a part of the, don't tell me, fair housing. Fair housing regulations. Sure. That's right. Um, so we started doing a lot of research and, and I sent a list to John and I said, okay, these are the schools that I found in Brooklyn and these are the neighborhoods. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to yeah. go look at these neighborhoods and see if there's anything. And Harlem, um, as much as it's, you know, there are a lot of people find really good deals there for us. There just isn't a good school for Beatrix that we're finding. And Charlotte went to these really great schools on the Upper West Side and 
listen, at the end of the day, we may end up in a rental on the Upper West Side. I mean, we you just might, know. you yeah, know, yeah. because we're really comfortable there and yeah. we'll pay a gazillion dollars and be in another fifth floor walk up, which we've done twice. Yeah. Not once, yeah. but twice. Yeah. Um, so that she gets into a good school. I don't know, but we're going to try to not do that. So anyways, we're going to yeah. go look. So we're going to go look. And speaking of one of the neighborhoods that was on your list of okay places for you, yeah, yeah. we're in right now, which is called Sunset Park. Sunset Park. It's in very Brooklyn. pretty. And um, we're actually um, on my block in Sunset Park. I live out here. I've been out here for five years, six years. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love it. It's a great commute, a very easy commute into the city. Three stops to Canal on the express train. Okay, good. Um, so so we're going to explore Sunset Park a little bit. I, I showed Sharon a couple of rental properties just so she could get a feel for the housing stock beautiful. out here. And yeah, brownstones beautiful, beautiful with stuff. Like built in things. Um, brownstones with My mother would things. love for me to live in Brooklyn. Have I told you that? She always wants me to go and live in Brooklyn. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the movie Moonstruck. Oh. So anyway, here you go, Mom. It's Maybe this moment. is it. Okay, bye. Bye.